Hey, what up, boys? Man, these content creators and community members are certainly carrying my ad revenue this month. First, we have some woke agendas, then Josh decided to remind everyone he doesn't actually play MMOs. We got the bold man reacting left, right, and center, and Mr. Top 10 MMORPGs to play with no f***ing friends. The lucky ghost himself delivering some juicy controversy straight to my door. I didn't even have to pay him like I did with the others, so this is glorious. However, I'm not going to be addressing the topics in the video at hand. I'm sure you've all watched it yourself and have seen various reactions, so you can absorb a bunch of shit takes because you're starving for any kind of content whatsoever. And I admit, I have been withholding your usual dose of copium this month to enjoy my sudden increase in revenue. I'm just so ashamed that I've, I've let down my fellow copium addicts. <laughs> I, I will make it up to you guys, just just please con continue to watch those ads. The video in question did bring up some great points and concerns, however, it's important to remember that Ashes of Creation is a Sand Park PvP MMORPG. Uh, the core gameplay literally doesn't support a pure PvE gameplay style. The game just wouldn't function correctly, and there's quite literally a list of 100 reasons why. So, in today's video, we'll be discussing this and much, much more. But before we get into that, our patrons and I would love for you to grab yourself a Copa Cola because Ashes of Creation has a lot of systems upon systems governed by mechanics that 99% of the MMO player base don't even know exist, so it's perfectly understandable from an outside perspective, aka the people who don't live, sleep, and breathe Stephen Sharif's farts. That the idea of Ash's open PvP nature is very daunting to the majority. Today, I'm excited to dive into this and hopefully quell some of your worries in anticipation for what really matters. The game actually fucking existing one day. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So to begin today's video, I think it's important to actually discuss what Ashes of Creation is as a game and the goals Steven and the team are actually trying to achieve here. This highly anticipated MMORPG is not claiming to be a PvE or PvP game specifically. They've stated since the very inception that Ashes of Creation is a PvX MMORPG. But what does PvX actually mean? Well, it's a term for people that cannot comprehend what an open world PvP MMO is. In my opinion, the use of this term has caused some minor damage, not because the devs have not been clear, it's because the people for whom this term was created for cannot quite understand the basic mechanics that govern this game, leading to some severe misconceptions for how the PvP rules actually function. You're dumb. I'm... I'm calling you dumb. And because the average IQ of the MMORPG player base is far below average, the term PVX has become a weapon against the development of Ashes. An MMO should have never been divided between isolated PvP and isolated PvE. Players should always be able to interact, kill, or help each other. An MMO is just that, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, which means that all players exist continuously in the same world. Not in stages, not instances, not arenas, not raids, not shards, etc, 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 but as the years have gone by and the player base grew up in name only, mind you, they started throwing their toys out of the pram and were insistent that they knew how to run this genre better than the devs who originally created it. So again, 
What does PVX mean? It doesn't mean that you are promised a 50-50 split of both PvE and PvP content. It means that the progress of your character is directly affected by your ability to explore the world and use resources as well as fend off players with which you have a conflict of interest. But there's no denying toxic PvP is a death sentence for most MMOs. Griefing and cannibalism has pretty much killed all MMORPGs that dare call themselves open world PvP. But did they die because of the PvP? Or did they die because they were all jam packed with infinite amounts of pay to win and zero content to actually engage it? I find it rather strange when people attack this particular aspect of Ashes when, in the current year, all our popular MMOs are hollow corpses. And the players who still play them also embody hollow corpses. Back before this insidious single player mentality began to take over roughly 10 or 12 years ago, community interaction was a core part of this genre, and PvP was a large majority of this. There are no memorable or interesting events that happen in MMORPGs that involve that single player-esque gameplay loop. It's the massively multiplayer elements that make this genre interesting and unique compared to literally every other genre out there. So let's change gears a little and actually discuss Ashes of Creation's plans for PvP and why it's different to what most of you are probably used to. So Stephen himself jumped into the comment section and addressed a few interesting things related to the PvP mechanics. This is good for me to pad out this video momentarily for that sweet, sweet ad revenue and I can use this to actually transition us into mechanics that actually already exist and are positively received by the modern MMORPG player base. Stephen started by explaining Ashes of Creation's PvP systems are actually very close to what Lineage 2 had back in the day, modernized slightly to prevent some of the obvious flaws that it had. He touched on how crowd control is treated differently, the disparity between player levels, the nullification of alt characters exploiting the corruption gain, and of course emphasizing the punishment length of being corrupted in comparison to what it was in Lineage 2. But what is this elusive corruption system, I hear you ask? Well, in Ashes of Creation, you can quite literally flag yourself for PvP anywhere in the world with a press of a button and attack anyone, provided they are either 1 not in your group and 2 not in your guild. Now that may sound scary to you dad gamers out there as your crippled boomer hands can hardly perform a basic rotation in WoW, but there's a system that actually protects you from being randomly murdered by sweaty neckbeard kids all day every day, and that system is called corruption. When you brutally murder an innocent to stroke your EP in the Ashes of Creation, you're hit with a massive neck negative status effect that not only makes you a huge target for everyone, but also reduces your performance as a player by a significant amount. The goal for this corruption mechanic, in my opinion, should be to nullify all forms of random pointless murder and punish these so-called griefers in some way, shape or form. This system mimics very closely Black Desert Online's karma system, and although BDO is very flawed as an MMO, leaning on some very single player aspects, the karma the system works well and, improved upon, can easily create a meaningful open world PvP environment here in the modern age that complements and encourages the social gameplay we've been missing oh so much. Now, I don't usually react to videos specifically because it's not really my style. Saving that to pad out my streams in the future, you see. But there was a particularly stinky take that I wanted to respond to specifically. Take it away, Asman. Every time that you give one player agency over another player's experience in a video game without their consent, you will nine times out of ten create an outcome that is bad for the game. That's just what happens. Players interacting with each other is bad for the game. That's just what happens. what happens. No, no, this, this, this can't be real. This, he can't be serious. I must be misunderstanding. Yes, yes. I know, I know. 
The way I can truly understand him is to assume a new form. The only form that could understand this take. Now, Asmongold has some pretty bad takes when it comes to MMOs these days, and this particular reaction was a nice compilation that encompasses everything wrong with modern MMORPGs, but that's okay. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, they may be wrong, but diversity is exactly what I advocate for here on this channel. Without diversity, Ashes of Creation cannot make the correct choices. But I want to follow this up with an anecdote about risk versus reward, and why PvP is important to me as an artisan main. AKA a player who quite literally doesn't give two shits about combat. And I'm going to do this by taunting my favourite bunch of low IQ brainlets. New World was ass. Its combat was trash, its end game was non-existent, and the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay loop was boring. However, the thing that really ruffled me up was the gutting of their core PvP features in favour of appealing to as wide of an audience as possible. Originally, New World was supposed to be a faction-based open-world PvP game. However, Amazon, being the marketing geniuses they are, decided to implement a toggle-on PvP feature last minute. This feature is also known as War Mode the final nail in the coffin for World of Warcraft's open world PvP. Giving players the ability to opt out of PvP in a game that is supposed to be PvP focused completely destroys any value that travel had, the socialization has, but most importantly, the economy has. I was heavily focused on the economic side of New World. It is what I specialize in after all, and I have never witnessed a crash at the launch of an MMORPG quite like a New World's. For weeks, players couldn't even afford to repair because every Every single material was worthless. It was made worthless because the game that was supposed to be designed around contesting materials with PvP allowed players to just ignore this particular gate and turn off their PvP like the careless dad gamers they are and chop trees forever. Not a great plan. Ashes of Creation is very different in this regard, and is handling PvP in a way that complements sandbox gameplay by protecting the one thing that actually matters. The economy. Something the modern player base seems to have forgotten is that you can actually balance your own risks. You decide when the risk is too high for you in terms of what you could drop out of your inventory. That is quite literally the beauty of player agency and why MMORPGs used to be so fun. You were the one making the choices, not the game creating rigid theme park-esque rules and telling you how, when, and why you should be playing. Unless you're corrupted, you won't drop any gear. Therefore, Ashes of Creation is not a full loot PvP MMO. If anyone tells you it is, they are woefully uneducated. But there has to be some incentive for PvP, or it just ends up bland with no real meaning to anything, aka modern theme park MMOs. Now, the balance of all this is a hundredfold. Obviously, over the years as MMOs became more shallow, less and less content was available to players who actually want MMORPGs. Which means the actual PvP content available is a very, very important aspect of any MMO. You need to have multiple ways of engaging in content. If there is only one endgame dungeon and everyone is camping that, then it does become a boring gank fest where only the top PvP guild can succeed. However, if there are 10, 20, 30 dungeons and the community is spread all across these, the choice to move and contest somewhere else is always an option. And an option that has been missing in pretty much every MMO up until Ashes of Creation. This goes for the plethora of open PvP zones Intrepid have begun revealing to us as well. The oceans, the newly revealed ruins mechanic, and of course, the one I predict will be most common, the caravans. What I think is important to realize here is that Steve and the team have a lot of experience with PvP in MMORPGs as outlined by his comment. But for now though, here in pre-alpha 2, personally I think it's pointless to talk about a mechanic that was so broken that it literally got disabled in the first few hours of alpha 1. So 
let's take a moment to stop overdosing and remind ourselves this game is still many years away from release. We're not even in a public alpha testing phase yet, so of course Intrepid are going to be innovating, testing and changing their PvP systems to be the best possible version it can be. And it's down to us as testers and you guys as innocent bystanders to provide the correct feedback. Ashes of Creation has a lot of systems governing its PvP alone, and without PvP, this game ceases to even function. So let's end today's video pressing this particular topic because I think it is a very important one to touch upon indeed. Ashes of Creation isn't made for 90% of the modern MMORPG player base. The point of Ashes of Creation is to show that 90% how an MMORPG is actually supposed to be made. None of our currently popular MMOs are actually MMOs. They've devolved into single player lobby games that give you the illusion of a massively multiplayer world because you can see the odd pleb running around playing their own single player experience. In my opinion, the the reason why MMOs are a dying genre is because it's lost its soul. It's lost its purpose to make way for the shallow, talentless, corporate trash monetized out the wazoo with predatory, convenience-based practices. It's okay that Ashes of Creation isn't for you. You have your tra- I mean, well, actually, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Your trash MMOs that cater to your lazy, shallow mentality in the form of Final Fantasy XIV, World of Warcraft, and whatever else bends over backwards to shove convenience up your already torn up asshole. I want to touch on a comment I see very often from not only the copium addicts feverishly consuming information related to this non-existent game, but also from a lot of YouTubers much, much larger than myself. I want Ashes of Creation to survive or I want Ashes of Creation to be big. And this comment rubs me the wrong way because you're trying to advocate for things that quite literally killed the MMORPG genre. If you want Ashes of Creation to succeed, you should be focused on improving the core design pillars, the social, meaningful, and satisfying progression that MMORPGs offered us back in their peak, back in the golden age. Not these modern day convenience systems and hand-holding gameplay that caters to the lowest denominator. Let us have our PvP. If it fails, it fails, but at least we tried. I don't want another MMORPG reskinned with the exact same thing the other generic 500 copy-pasted MMOs did before. If you don't like the prospects of Ashes of Creation, that's okay. Steven has said many, many times, Ashes of Creation is not going to be for everyone. I'm okay with the game settling on a couple of hundred thousand players. I don't need the game to have millions or to dethrone World of Warcraft for that top spot. That's not the point of this project. The point is to prove that a true open world PvP MMO can thrive in this age of single player trash and still sustain itself without compromising its monetization with pay to win elements. If it succeeds at that, I truly believe it will spark a new era for this genre because it will remind everyone exactly why World of Warcraft had 12 million players back in 2008. Well, but as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO. And my opinions mean nothing without yours in the comments below. And hey, I heard you like watch parties and considering I've nothing to shill here at the end of this video, why not come and join our humble Discord community and waste your life talking about an MMO that quite literally doesn't even exist. Additionally, we will, as always, be hosting a watch party for this month's upcoming artisan-focused livestream. But Nark, nobody cares about your trash watch party. You didn't even bother to do one for Pantheon this month. I'm highly disappointed. And to that I say, listen kid, Pantheon doesn't even have convincing concept art, let alone PvP, so why you're bringing up Pantheon again during this video is completely random and quite frankly, nobody fucking asked. It's almost like you're just trying to artificially gaslight your game using my platform because you know we're high on copium.